California, but we want to go to some other uh, stories. It's still COVID-19 related, but we wanted to bring this live report here to you where some states are reporting record high coronavirus uh, case deaths, while others are seeing a plateau in new cases. Still, health officials are saying that we could see another post-holiday spike. Fox's uh, Katie Byrne has the latest from Philadelphia. And how you doing, uh, Katie, right there? Hi, Mike. Well, like you mentioned, Pennsylvania is one of the states seeing a plateau in new cases. But here in Philly, they're still planning on tightening restrictions in anticipation of a new spike brought on by the holidays. But right now we know that four states, Indiana, Mississippi, Wisconsin and West Virginia, have reported more COVID-19 deaths yesterday since the pandemic started. And now we're learning more about a new strain of the virus found in the UK. Today, the UK's health secretary says both cases are from people who travel from South Africa recently. It is highly concerning because it is yet more transmissible and it appears to have mutated further than the new variant that has been discovered in the UK. We are quarantining cases and close contacts of cases found here in the UK. Second, we're placing immediate restrictions on travel from South Africa. Now, dozens of countries have banned travel from the UK, but not here in the US. And today, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said he'll send sheriff's deputies to the homes or hotel rooms of people coming in from the UK just to make sure they're complying with the city's two week quarantine. And now a lot of people are hoping the vaccines will be the light at the end of the tunnel. Today, the US reached an agreement with Pfizer about getting 100 million more doses uh, of the vaccine by late July. And that's uh, already on top of the 100 million doses we've already agreed on. So this new agreement just doubles that. But still, health officials are saying that even if you do get vaccined, you should still wear a mask and social distance. Mike? Yeah, Katie, it's one of those things where we're just almost at this finish line. We could see it. We see the vaccines that are out there. They're coming and uh, next year, a lot more people will be able to get it there. But it, it, it's the hard part right now because we all remember these Christmas holidays with our families and a lot of people still want to replicate that and the cities just some of them just don't know what to do. Yeah, you know, yesterday I was at the airport and I talked to a lot of people who were traveling uh, and obviously there's a lot of feelings about traveling and it's not the same feeling that you see in the airport right now. A lot of people uh, say they're doing something low key this year. They're just going to see one family member. They're just on their way to see one person, that kind of thing. And it's not the same energy that you usually see at the airport around the holidays. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, it's hard to believe that this week is actually Christmas there. So uh, we're hoping people will still get into the spirit, but uh, in a safe way uh, this Christmas and holiday season. Katie Byrne there live for us from Philadelphia. We always appreciate your updates. All right, and thanks there to Katie for that update. We always do appreciate that. And we continue to bring you always the very latest right here on News Now from Fox. We're going to take a quick two-minute break right here for some of you.